Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little come shop with me and then a slight haul video. Um, basically at the weekend, because the shops reopened, I went and ordered all of my furniture um, for our new home, mine and Brandon's new home that we've just bought. If you didn't know in the past couple of videos, I have mentioned that we've bought a home, a new build property. We have no furniture. Um, just a few like plates and bits from being at university and having our own flat, but we've never actually bought our own furniture. We've always um, had a furnished accommodation or a furnished property. So this was really exciting for us and really fun. So firstly, we went to Next Home in Sheffield. It's a very large store. Um, from there, we ordered our sofa, our bed, our mattress. I'm trying to think everything off the top of my head. I think they were the only big things that we ordered from there. Um, then we bought some bits and pieces while we were in the store. And then the next day, my mum and I went to our local home sense. We also popped into a next door, but it was much smaller, mainly clothes, not really any home bits. Um, and also we um, went for a little walk and an ice cream and some lunch. Um, and it was just really nice to do something really normal and different. It doesn't feel normal anymore to go out for lunch and to go into shops. So it was a little bit strange, but also it's nice to get back to that normality and back into like having a fun weekend rather than not really having anything to do. But I do have a few clips from the weekend, so I'm just gonna pop them in now. So I hope you enjoyed the little clips from our weekend. I just wanted to insert them just for sort of me to look back on really. So I thought I'd run over some of the larger items that I got from Nick and insert the pictures of them from online just where over on the screen. So I thought I'd start off firstly with our sofa. So we've ordered the Finsbury button back sofa and it's in an L shape. It fits perfectly only really just into a little alcove at the back of our lounge. So we've ordered that and we've ordered it in the um, contrasting colour. So um, the whole sofa is going to be in this charcoal colour and the piping of the sofa, you know how like just around the cushions and things like that, is going to be in this silver. So for anyone wanting a sofa, this is the plush velvet easy clean charcoal and this is the plush velvet easy clean silver. So that's going to be the body of the sofa and this is going to be the piping. So that's really exciting and I absolutely love this sofa. I've been looking at it for so long. Since we sort of knew we were getting the house, this was the sofa I knew I wanted. I think the picture for this one is actually from the book that I'm going to insert from one of the um, 
from one of the catalogue. Um, simulator online sort of show you it doesn't show the piping very well so I'm going to pop on a picture so it's not going to be as good quality just to let you know. So then secondly we got the Zola dining chairs in houndstooth so i'm actually sat on one at the minute i don't know if you'll be able to see but i will insert a little shot at the side and also a screenshot of them on the website so you know what you're looking for um, and if anyone wants any links or anything just let me know and i'll pop them in the comments down below um, so these are the zola dining chairs in the houndstooth print now i've got two and i need four but these were an absolute bargain so my mum and dad went to peterborough because they're doing up their lounge downstairs at the moment and my mum knew i was absolutely really wanting these chairs um so she saw them in there and they were x display still perfect condition and they were down from 120 pounds to 45 pounds for the set of two so i just said yeah please absolutely get them so we've got two they're currently out of stock online, but I'm hoping they'll come back in and then I'm going to order two more straight away. It's actually really comfortable. Um, and our downstairs is going to be um, greys, whites. Um, we've sort of got a marble tile floor. All the walls are painted white because it's a new build. That's quite standard. Um, and then we're going to sort of go for grey furniture. And we've got a really, really pale um, near. It is a really pale coloured kitchen, um, like a pale grey. Um, it's hard to explain. And also, I haven't seen it in so long that I sort of forget so I have to look back on pictures that I've taken but it's a really light grey so we wanted a bit of contrast so we thought the black and the white chairs would bring a little bit of darkness and something of interest to look at in the house. And then another great bargain that we got was um, the Anderson extending dining table so we won't be using this as a dining table this is going to be my desk because at the minute we're planning on one of the spare rooms being used an office or study and um, so I'm working from home um, four out of five days a week at the minute and just going into to the office one day a week and um, that could possibly change um, at the end of June when restrictions slightly lift. We're thinking companies might start letting you work from home a couple of days being in the office just because we've all adapted to this so well. Um, if not it's not a problem because the desk will still be used by Brandon. So Brandon is a primary school teacher for anyone that is new to the channel and he will use it for um, marking all of his books, using the guillotine to cut out all of the things for the children out of paper um sort of using it for that sort of thing but we just wanted like a creative space but also a really good workspace so this table was actually reduced from 450 pounds down to 153 pounds so this was an x display item it has a couple of little nicks on here and there but it really you could barely see it so when i saw it was x display i was like what is wrong with it is there anything wrong with it and Brandon and I had a really good look around it and there was barely anything on it at all. Um, most of the marks on it I actually just wiped off while I was in the store. So I was really, really happy with that. We saved so much money. Um, and because I want the desk to be in the middle of the room, I don't want it to be against the wall. I want to sort of be sat in the middle of the room and be able to see the whole room, not feel confined at all. Um, so we wanted a desk, but all of the back of the desks, if you've seen, are like a wooden MDF material. So I don't want that on display. Um, as someone walks into the like, office room. So this dining table is perfect, it's absolutely huge. So it's really good to set up your laptop, your notebook, have a nice area for some flowers and a drink. And I sort of just want to really be able to enjoy that workspace and really like the space I'm sitting in because it makes me so much more productive. So that was the third thing that we bought. So then we bought the bed frame and the mattress. So the mattress, quite a boring one, it's just the Eco um, mattress from Next. It was in the medium, I think. Um, we did sit on it in store, they did have one of them in there. Just as a tip, they didn't actually have them in the mattress section where you would sit on them all. Um, I asked the lady and she said it was actually under one of the duvets so she lifted it all up for us so it was just the mattress so we could sit on it and see what it was like um so we went for that mattress um and then we've gone for the Stella bed from next and it's in the i believe it's called opulent gray or steel gray and um, whatever it is it will be on a picture somewhere here yeah we went for that i just thought it was really classic really elegant i didn't want anything to glitz and glam in the bedroom um i just want it more subtle calm relaxing really wanted a luxurious vibe so a bit like um a hotel vibe going on in there so we just wanted it to be really relaxing and really calming so we've gone just for the plain gray headboard and then we just got some bits and bobs as well so i thought i'd throw these in at the end um these are all from next these pieces i believe so firstly we're collecting the malvin range um from next one of their dinnerware sets but if you've watched my last video you'll know that we actually have um most of the plates all of the bowls things like that um all of your standard um sort of things that you need sort of main plate side plate 
um, cereal sort of size bowl bits and bobs like that we have but I just wanted all the extra bits and we had some vouchers from Christmas and I thought I'm gonna treat myself while I'm here because I really wanted to have a nice time and it's not often that I get Brandon with me um, to be able to go shopping um, and sort of see his opinion as well so I wanted to grab things while he was there some things we did differ on though and one of them I definitely got <laughs> um, so the first thing that we got was the Malvin set of four egg cups these are just um, little plain white egg cups, um, they're just sort of really nice and plain, they just have that Malvern effect around which is just all of the rings falling down. Um, yeah, I just like the fact that they matched, we have egg cups but they don't match the set so I had to just get some more. Then we got two of the, um, I would say these are serving bowls, it doesn't, does it say what they technically are classed as? I think they are called serving bowls. Um, these are £12 um, and these are so nice you can probably see the effect a little bit better but these are really large bowls so we got two of these and I thought in the summer when you're having salads or in winter if you've done roasted vegetables or roast potatoes it's nice to have something to put them in if you're sort of serving them to people um, so I grabbed two of those and as you can see you can probably see the effect a little bit better on there now but yeah we grabbed two of those while we were there and also just a little side note we did actually order the um, serving bowls online but they came um, smashed like a big crack down the middle and that's no fault to next it's just obviously it's um, breakable very easily broken so obviously it was broken on the way here obviously got our full money back but I thought I'm going to save those bits to grab in store because sometimes they have the full range in store anyway so it's just a little bit easier and then we got the Melvin, I'd say this is a serving platter, a serving plate. Um, it's really quite large. This was £14. On here, I thought in the winter, it'd be really nice to have sort of your roasted vegetables, um, your potatoes, parsnips, things like that. Just easy to put on the table for everyone to help themselves. Or in the summer, just putting all of the um, burger buns and burgers on here. So I think that's really helpful to have. And I think I'm going to grab another one of these. And maybe another serving bowl so I have three of those because I'd really like to host and I'm looking forward to that being something that I really like doing in the house because I really like having people around and sort of put them an effort into cooking. I really enjoy cooking food um, so I thought it'd be really nice to have something nice to serve it on. Then the final thing in the Malvern set is the Malvern Gravy Boat. This was £7. Um, this was a thing Brandon wasn't really sure on but I said we've got to have the matching gravy boat if we're having everything else match. And I think I'm going to go back and get another one of these, but just don't tell him that. Um, so in my family, we have a lot of gravy. So this isn't going to do four people's gravy in my family. So I'm thinking I'm going to need another one. <laughs> I don't know if that's like a certain area thing. I know some people don't have gravy on their roast dinner. I couldn't think of roast dinner with no gravy. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think I'm going to need to grab another one of these. But um, it's something I really wanted and I think it just looks nice if you've got everything to match on the table. Then finally, we grabbed the Nova set of four tumbler glasses and these are crystal apparently. They are £12. I've actually just grabbed one out to show you. So these are actually really quite small little glasses, but um, we wanted them to be able to fit in the dishwasher. I really thought these were nice size, um, nice for drinks. And on here it shows them with smoothies, uh, alcoholic drinks, just like lemonade. Um, and I thought they sort of went with everything and I thought they just looked quite smart, nice and compact. So we got eight of those in total, so two boxes of four. Um, just because I wanted all new glasses. We do have some glasses from university in the flat, but they're all just so old now. I thought we needed some new glasses that hadn't um, been in the university flats. So those were all the glasses that we got. And if I'm not mistaken, I think that's everything that we grabbed while we were out on Saturday. I know nearly all of it was from Next. Well, I think all of it was from Next, but I genuinely think their home things are so nice and it's just so easy to go there and get everything in their home stores. So we just grabbed it all while we were there, while we felt like we knew what we wanted before it all went out of stock. Um, so yeah, I'm really pleased with what we had. We also got some really good deals, really good bargains. Um, and yeah, I'm just looking forward to collecting a few more bits and pieces as we went along. Um, and sort of looking back on this and seeing what we bought and how exciting it was at the time. Because in the future it might be something where we look back just really fond memories. Because we did have such a lovely day on Saturday. Um, so yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, my next video I think is going to be a huge cleaning haul. I think I'm going to film that in a minute. Um, it's actually really hard to film all of your videos and edit them all when you're working a full-time job and also going out and socialising at the weekends. 
So I think I'm going to film the next one now. So it's going to be an absolutely huge cleaning haul. It's actually a box outside this door and I can barely carry it. It's that full. So if you want to watch that, make sure you keep an eye out for the next video that will be on my channel. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. And if you would like to like this video, just let me know the content that you like to watch. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.